Hey everyone, and uh, welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I was in one of the uh, survival stores here in Nanaimo. It's going out of business, and I was going to get some dehydrated food, but they only had 10% off, so I'm going to wait until it goes a little higher. But they wanted, I think, between $12 and $15. Yeah, $12 and $15 for each one of these packs. Like this one here is Mountain House scrambled eggs, and uh, this one's a little cheaper because it's scrambled eggs, but most of them are around like 10 bucks. Yeah, okay. So. I just left and then went to the grocery store to get some stuff and I had an idea. You guys have all seen these, right? These Nor sidekicks. They have like all kinds of different kinds of all the you know creamy garlic and <clears throat> tomato and all that kind of stuff. And I wondered if I was to put the two cups of water that they asked for in this package and let it sit for the eleven minutes and mixed it up, would it be just as good? as a mountain house creamy garlic alfredo or whatever the reason why i'm trying this is because these are a dollar 85 and it's a full serving of pasta and same with the normal mountain house amount is one serving of pasta this is a scrambled egg one but so i'm going to try this so i have i'm going to have my things set up here i uh, my stove i'm going to boil two cups of water and the thing is, will this two cups of water fit in this package, A? Will this package be able to handle the two cups of water for 11 minutes without disintegrating, B? And after the 11 minutes, will the pasta be soft enough that I can eat it, C? And it asks for one cup of water and one cup of milk, and I'm using just two cups of water. Will it still be just as good after um, being hydrated with two cups of water and not the milk? If this works then I can go out and get a whole bunch of these sidekicks and um, have food in the woods for two bucks a shot as opposed to 12. So I'm going to set the stove up, get the water boiling, and I'll come right back to you. Okay, so I have, I have this in the frying pan because if this decides to break or disintegrate, I don't want to have this stuff all over the place. So I'm going to put it in here. I got the fire going with the two cups of water. And we're going to put that in there and uh, we're going to see what happens. Okay. All right. We've got a rolling boil. We're got this ready. We're going to pour this in here. Now, I know you're all going to say, why don't you just pour the sidekicks in the water? I know. But I just want to see if I can put it in the bag as the, um, the Mountain House ones can be done and to see if it just can be done. I'm well aware that this can go in there and do the thing. But, okay, bear with me. This should be interesting. Okay, let's put the fire out. And, all right, here we go. I'll do this so you guys can see it. Okay, it holds the water, or the amount of water, I mean. I'm gonna give it a bit of a stir. close it up oh it is leaking so you cannot use the bag for the thing but that's okay what we're going to do is we're going to empty this out in here we're going to mix it up And we're going to leave it for 11 minutes. Oh, I, should, I totally should have put it in there. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So now we know this bag cannot handle the, um, the water. As you can see here, it opened up. Good thing I had it in the frying pan. A little bit of thought process there. All right. I'm going to come back to you um, in 11 minutes. And let's see if this has created a meal or if it's just going to be disgusting. Okay, so it's been uh, 11 or 12 minutes, and as you can see, this is a complete fail. Um, it needs a rolling boil for it to thicken up, because all of the flavor is all kind of stuck in the shells. So um, doing it this way, uh, even if it was in the, um, in the cup, um, I don't think it would have made any difference. So doing it this way is not a viable option. So let's try option number two. I got 
two cups of water going. I got another cheddar chipotle that's going to be cooked in 11 minutes and I'm going to cook it in the water uh, while it's boiling, which is pretty much the instructions um, that's necessary other than the fact I'm using two cups of water and not a cup of water and a cup of milk. So we're going to try that and uh, see if that tastes uh, good as well. Because for two bucks, I'm willing to try a couple of different options to see if I can get these things and take them out into the woods and have some really good uh, different kinds of pasta for like two bucks at a shot. So uh, I'm going to bring this water to a boil. I'm going to pour it in and we're going to take a look at what's going on. All right, we have a boil. Let's put this, this is cheddar chipotle. That'd be a really good idea for these guys' sidekicks to um, make these bags so that you can put uh, hot water in them. But anyway, all right, that goes in there. What are the directions? I probably should have read that first. Medium saucepan, bring one and a half cups of water and a half a cup of milk to a boil, so two cups of water. Stir and package, return to a boil, reduce heat to medium, low, and continue boiling gently for 11 minutes. All right, give this a stir. So this is most likely going to work. Um, there's no reason. It's the amount of liquid that's necessary. And we got a rolling boil that we're continuing. I'm going to put the heat down. There we go. That'll also save um, our fuel. We got a rolling boil. Okay, so 11 minutes. I'm anticipating this will work because it's like very, very close to the instructions. But even if this works, this is great because now we can just bring these in, boil up some of this stuff, and we've got pasta. It takes a little longer because, of course, the um, the Mountain House and all those guys, it's like uh, six or seven minutes in the bag. Uh, you don't need to bring anything uh, other than, well, I guess you'd need a pot to boil the water anyway. So really, you're not saving any space by uh, using it that way. That's an interesting. Okay, so we're going to see what happens here. It's 10 to 10 at about one or two minutes after. I'm going to... Get you guys back and we're gonna test this idea okay guys put the flame up a little bit just to get a little more of a boil and she is ready look at that haven't tried it yet so let's get the heat off there we go look at that That looks actually pretty good. Okay. Let's try it. Oops, sorry for bouncing me around. This is going to be hot. Tastes great. Doesn't need milk. Just a couple of things of, um, of water and that's it. Hang on just one second. I just want to shut down the... Just watching a Bushcraft YouTube channel. It's, um, it's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, this is this is really good. I don't see any um, reason why we can't use something like this as opposed to the um, the freeze dried stuff that costs up to fifteen dollars a package for one serving, which is ridiculous. Same weight, it doesn't weigh anymore, um, and these are smaller packages, um, and that's a lot of pasta. Like, look how much pasta this is. Um, there's, I'm, I won't be able to eat all this. This is a lot of pasta. Um, it would make a perfect supper um, and they're under two bucks so there we go one failed attempt to do it like the freeze-dried uh, ones and then uh, one non-failed attempt uh, boiling it uh, and I boiled it for about nine minutes on low and then I took the cover off of the uh, of the uh, burner and cooked it on high to really thicken it up I like a nice thick sauce so there we go I just saved you guys 12 bucks per meal <laughs> okay um, if you like this channel, if you like this video, please subscribe, tell everybody about the channel. Uh, I got 237 subscribers now, which is awesome. And, um, I wanted to keep climbing. I love this. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video and you guys take care.